the five minute the entire five minute shower routine with just a loofah and a body wash and you go and you're done girl your vagina has been smooshed in between two ties all day and then you want to go and sleep and you will still wear tight underwear why I'm addicted Baby, we could drop everything we know Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Fussy. If you are new here, please be sure to subscribe to my channel because it's all fun over here. In today's video, we're going to be talking about feminine hygiene or hygiene in general, general hygiene. And I'm going to be giving tips on how to stay smelling good 247, like how to always smell good, how to beat the BO and the mouth order and all of that because nobody nobody if i can tolerate everything i cannot tolerate bad order like you could be looking good you could be looking clean you could be looking sweet but once i come close to you and i'm hit with a stench that's it that's it for me i'm out of there that fast and i do understand that not everyone is properly educated on topics like this heck i learned everything i know now about hygiene on this internet so with like knowing it now it's obviously an honor to like let people know about it as well because if i was helped by the internet i want to also help people on the internet anyways with that being said let's get into the video all right so the first segment we're going to be talking about is oral hygiene and guys i cannot stress this enough bad breath <laughs> it's not tolerable in any way shape or form and just using a toothbrush and a toothpaste is not going to cut it. It's not going to cut it at all. If you want good breath, 247 all day long, I have tips that will definitely help you. So first of all, I'm going to be sharing my oral hygiene routine just so we get a hang of what I'm talking about. Because I'm not just going to, I don't just want to show products. I want to talk about a routine. So first off, this is my routine that I do at night. And if I'm unable to do this at night, maybe because I got lazy, I, do my, I make sure I do this the next morning. So first off, I'm home. I'm ready for my nighttime skincare. The first thing I do is grab my floss. Literally, I just use this one from the Dollar Tree. You don't need any fancy floss. If you do have retainers or Invisalign, you can use a water flosser. But this works for me just fine, right? And especially since last, uh, about three, four years back, I don't, I can't remember, like, I had my tooth removed and that was because I wasn't flossing properly. And since then, floss has become my best friend. I even have one little one I put in my bag so that whenever I eat and I get like a piece of food stuck in between my teeth, I do not have to the food out of my mouth. I can just go in with floss. So yeah, this is a pack. This cost literally $2 from the dollar. This is a pack of 75 or even more and it literally cost me two dollars from the dollar tree and like it doesn't get better than that anyways i go in i floss every single space between my teeth and after that i go in with my mouthwash just to rinse out i switch this around my mouth for um, give take a minute to a minute and a half and i just go ahead switch this let it burn let it do its thing you know i keep this in for a while and after this i then go in to brush my teeth with a toothbrush and a tooth um and a tongue scraper we'll get into this tongue scraper later but the toothbrush i use is just a regular oral v toothbrush i picked up at walmart and let me tell you guys i know like they say oh use electrical toothbrushes they work better i genuinely just like having control over my own toothbrush i don't like my toothbrush to do its thing i like to move it the way i want to move it so i just use a basic toothbrush this was the medium i think this is medium i don't use soft toothbrushes i feel like they don't get me as clean as i want to be and this was about two dollars from walmart hygiene is affordable hygiene can be affordable you guys after that i go into my tongue with a tongue scraper if you have not started using a tongue scraper i don't know what you're sleeping on i don't know what rock you're sleeping under you're sleeping on a tongue scraper and people say use a disposable tongue scraper because it's more hygienic but i'm like why don't you use a disposable toothbrush it's literally just like cleaning your toothbrush you clean your to um your tongue scraper i make sure to run this under 
scorching hot water from the tap every time before and after I use it just so all the germs and bacteria that could have stayed on it they die So with the tongue scraper, after like brushing my teeth for about three to four minutes, I just go in with this, get my tongue, like every single corner of my tongue. I do it about twice, rinse, spit, and with that, I'm good to go. But even after doing that with the tongue scraper, I still go in with my brush again and uh, another a pea-sized toothpaste, literally a very tiny one, going with my toothpaste and just clean thoroughly. This will get you so clean. Like you have no idea, but that's not even all there are other parts to your mouth that like how do you rinse it? How do you clean it? So I go in with my toothbrush again and just go lightly on the roof of my mouth just to get every You know dirty saliva or anything any grime that, that may be in the roof of my mouth I go into the roof of my mouth. I go into my cheeks and just brush and clean I rinse out I spit and I'm done. I know like also the dentists have been saying do not rinse out your toothpaste But that doesn't work for me. I definitely have to rinse it out. The fluoride will be working some other day, okay? <laughs> but I definitely definitely have to rinse my teeth twice and rinse my mouth after brushing I meant to say and I also have floss and gum in my bag for when I eat food that gives me a certain type of scent or fragrance in my mouth or odor that I am not happy with so i chew gum i lick mint and then i floss if there's food stuck in my teeth after i eat because that's like one of my pet peeves i hate food being stuck in my teeth i have had days where like because i didn't have floss in my bag i had to use a pen to get that and that is so freaking unhygienic you guys but yeah you want to take the Floss and floss your teeth whenever you eat also chew gum to get that bad breath out of your mouth And if you're an avid coffee drinker and the froth from like coffee stays on your tongue You want to like get disposable tongue scrapers just to keep it in your bag just so you're getting You know that grime off your tongue. It's not staying. It's not slipping on your tongue basically when you're out I mean, that being said that is that for oral hygiene your skin is your largest organ and you have to take care of it And with that being said, let's get into the next segment next up. We're going to be going into general body hygiene routine and I'm going to split this into two in shower routine and post shower routine Smelling good starts from the shower, okay? You cannot take a rush rush bath or a rush rush shower or And come out and douse yourself in perfume your body is going to the dirt on your body will react to the oils on your body and Your natural body chemicals and react to the perfume. And it's not just going to give you a good scent, okay? so with that being said Let's start from in the shower first off before I even say anything if you are not showering daily, you have a problem. Yeah, I said it. If you have the opportunity to shower every day and you personally choose, it's you made it a choice to not shower every day, you're dealing with a problem. You have a problem. <laughs> and guys, that's just because what? Why? I make I try, I try personally to shower twice a day. Or if I can't I do it once a day and that once a day is actually a very intense shower This routine this entire in shower routine takes about 20 minutes and I know you may say Oh, I don't have 20 minutes in the morning. I only have five minutes to spend in the shower wake up 15 minutes earlier mm -hmm. Yes, wake up 15 minutes earlier and spend that time in the shower if you know you want to run out of your house because the five minute the entire five minute shower routine with just a loofah and a body wash and you go and you're done girl no that's not how we operate in this premises okay first of all you want to go in with a base cleanse i always cleanse my body twice i have seen people on the internet say 
cleansing your body twice makes your body to dry out and i'm like but you cleanse your face twice y'all are the same people that advised us to be double cleansing and this has what this is what has been working for me since i started doing it and i'm not going back to not double cleanse in my skin like any day i only do one cleanse i do not feel like myself i have to double cleanse my skin first off you want to go in with a base cleanse you want to go in with something to really get the oils and the dirt and the dust from the day out of your body personally to do that for me i use black soap i had my mom send a huge ton of black soap to me this is in a paste version it looks something like this and this is what i just you guys can see i am like here and this i've been only using it for two months i mean three months and i'm like here i use this like nightly if i use this in the night then in the morning i go in with my dove shea butter bar but if i do not take a shower at night then i'm going to use this in the morning just so my body can be squeaky clean so that is for my first cleanse and with the uh with the black soap i go in with exfoliating gloves like please do not i'm not a fan of the loofah to, what are you doing why are you using loofah why are you using washcloths they're not getting you as clean as you need to be go in with exfoliating gloves and watch the game change now you want to pay special attention to the places that hold more dirt and grime your underarms your feet your thighs you want to pay special attention to those areas when washing you want to take your time and gently scrub those areas right so after uh using after my first cleanse i go in with a body wash you can use any body wash i have a lot in my shower i just use them based on my mood and this is the shea butter oatmeal scent ives oatmeal and shea butter body wash and i use this alongside my african net sponge and with this this is actually quite exfoliating so i'm just very gentle when i'm using it with the body wash if i'm not using my african net sponge i do have a loofah in my bathroom which i use now we're going to go into talking about now when you're showering please make sure you're getting every crevice of your body i have heard that some of us we let the soap run down our legs and we do not wash our legs and why are we doing that what in the laziness is that why are you letting soap run down your legs um, do not do it do not be part of that train of thought that makes you think you should let the soap run down your legs do not do that wash your legs take your time to wash every single part of your body with the underarms you want to take your time to scrub i always exfoliate my underarms not my entire body but my underarms every other day like every other day i'm gonna use a scrub on my feet just because i do not want to sweat i do not want to smell i don't want any type of odor lingering there and because i use deodorant and it's closed it's against each other all day long i need to actually thoroughly clean it or else the hair there could hold bacteria and dirt we don't want that i always have my nails done whether these are green now this is a green outset and i need to get a new one i always like to have my nails done and whenever my nails are done i like to go in with a nail brush i actually got this from the dollar store as well and wash under my nose with a hand soap go inside like there is no reason if you look inside my nails they look pretty neat because there's no reason there should be they should be habitating under your nails there's no reason we should look at the habitat of your beneath your nails and we should see dirt dust grime every single thing imaginable on that on the face of the earth we do not want that here so you want to go in with a face brush and a hand soap not a face brush i mean i meant to say a nail brush and a hand soap and that felt and scrub underneath your nails thoroughly moving on to your feet i like to use another brush that i have specially for my feet and just go in wash my feet wash underneath my toes and this i do every other day i go in with the pump because i have my like, pedicure every four weeks every month once a month and then i go in with like a pre toe every other day to scrub my heels you know just to get it feeling baby soft and baby smooth okay that is it that is how i get my entire body clean and last but not the least this is the last thing you absolutely want to do in the shower there's no reason you should be using scented body wash or your regular 
body wash or your regular bar soap down there you need to use a very very mild soap in the lady area and that for me i have been loving the dove beauty cream bar just the regular original dove the blue bar i've been using this for so long now and it has worked for me i do not use feminine washes i do not use uni bars uni pearls any of that the inside cleans itself the outside however you want to clean with soap there's no reason you should be using only water to clean the outside because that place does not see the sun that place has been tied it has been protected from the outside world there's no reason you should not wash it with soap there is sweat there there is just soap and for me you can use the green one i think that's the sensitive bar as well you can use baby soap that is like because that is also very very mild to use on skin and personally you just want to feel clean there is no need for three four step routines in your vajj area why go in with one soap take your hand lather it off go down there spread your legs this is your own look at it spread your legs and thoroughly wash for 30 to 45 seconds and you should be good okay so i just checked i think my camera was on the wrong setting so i don't know how the last clip may have looked but apologies for that anyways well now we're going to go into post shower routine after taking a shower i go in with while my body is still like soaking wet i just dry off with my hands i just do something like swipe all the excess water off and i go in with a baby oil all over my skin and this is because fragrance projects best on moisturized skin if you spray a dry skin it's not going to project as much as you want it to fragrance also lasts long when your skin is moisturized so i go in with a baby oil all over my body just rub in very very fast motions and then i go in with my lotion this is the equate body lotion but cocoa butter lotion and it's the dupe for the vaseline cocoa butter lotion i kid you guys not i tested this side by side and there is little to no difference that one smells stronger than this one and literally that's the only difference i noticed they work for me perfectly just the same way they work just fine this is cheaper i'm gonna go for the more affordable stuff but yeah this is the lotion i use this is my ride or die lotion this is my tent <laughs> I think this is my fourth this year, so I don't even want to calculate last year But this is my fourth bottle this year and we're bought in the month of April and I use other lotions and body butters But this I stay loyal to this um, Body lotion Anyways for your underarms because you are fighting hyperpigmentation and smell you want to go in with the ordinary glycolic acid because and a cutting round put this on your cutting round rub put this rub you're fighting this will get rid of so this works as a deodorant it's going rid of sweat smell and hyperpigmentation do not use this often use it about twice to three times a week because you're using this often you're over exfoliating and that could expose your skin barrier it could just make you really sensitive in your pits i like to use this i also like to use this on my bikini line after shaving down like shaving I, I said shaving waxing down there it works perfectly fine for me and i like it i don't use i obvious i don't wax like i wax once a month so i just use it for two days after waxing to just smoothen it out and make it look nice and neat so basically this is a she's a multitasking queen basically this ordinary toning solution she's a multitasking queen for your downstairs area you want to pay more attention to her now if you take a shower or when you do take a shower and see that she feels a little dry don't worry go in with either one of the two coconut oil or good old vessel if you realize the girl feels dry use one of these two moisturize her just take a little bit it's so simple and it's so soothing let's say you had like a little cut there or like you have a sore something that's making you uncomfortable and like you need to soothe it vaseline is so so versatile i love vaseline so much you guys have no idea like i always have to have vaseline with me in my bag in my house in my room every single almost every single room in my 
house has Vaseline in it and that's just because it's so versatile I love Vaseline so much if your downstairs area feels right definitely go in with this or coconut or whatever your preference may be and always 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 wear cotton and breathable underwear there is no reason that there is no special location if you know what I mean and you should be wearing lace underwear or you should be wearing a thong why are you wearing a thong on a daily basis you see the granny panties we need to bring back the granny panties we need to bring back the cotton granny panties because I kid you not those are so breathable like you're not choking her down there you're not you're not suffocating her you definitely 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 need to be more um what's it called be more open to the granny panties embrace the granny panties because they're going to help you breathe throughout the day and if you can if you're comfortable with it at night definitely sleep commando do not wear any, any underwear when you're sleeping at night if you can i must say force yourself to or like if you sleep with other people in the room and you're not comfortable with doing that you don't know how you sleep perhaps you roll over on everybody's head when you're asleep <laughs> don't do things like that but if you're very comfortable with doing it perhaps you sleep alone or you sleep very like gently definitely definitely incorporate like sleeping commando into your routine your vagina has been smooshed in between two ties all day and then you want to go and sleep and you will still wear tight underwear why anyways definitely try to sleep commando without wearing any form of underwear after lotioning my body up because we've attended to the downstairs area after lotioning my body up i like to go in with some kind of body mist while my body still feels damp just directly on my skin and before i put on my clothes and then after i put on my clothes i put on my perfume i have a lot of them back there i just decided to come show you guys the zara red vanilla this is actually not what i'm wearing today today i'm wearing the kali vanilla 28 but after putting on my clothes you want to spray your perfume on your actual clothes not on your body because perfume lasts longer when sprayed on clothes as opposed to when sprayed directly on skin and last but not the least for my feet i use vaseline after using lotion on my feet because I don't know why for some reason my hands and my feet they like to show themselves they like to get dry even without being asked I don't know why but I definitely like to mix up my lotion with the Vaseline and go on my feet if you do incorporate this routine into your everyday life I bet you you're going to be smelling good you're going to be getting all compliments that you smell very good because you've you've gotten rid of the base which is the in shower routine you've gotten rid of the base smell and eventually you just when you walk past they're gonna know they're gonna know that that girl is in the room they're gonna you're gonna project and everything you're going to project will be good sense okay you ever will not you never ever again will have to deal with any form of bo or mouth odor and then if you do realize that going forward you know you incorporate this procedure into your routine and you can still see some type of smells you're not comfortable with i definitely suggest going to your doctor or gynecologist just to get checked also let's not forget garbage in garbage out whatever you put in your body is whatever you're going to ooze out from your body so you want to be drinking in lots of water i definitely suggest a liter a day that's how much i take sometimes i take two liters in a day depending on how much movement and walking around i have to do i definitely take up to two liters sometimes more in a day and also eat your fruits eat a lot of fiber eat a lot of fruits eat a lot of vegetables because these are things that will get you clean from inside and I take a lot of supplements guys i'm just going to list my supplements are downstairs i'm not in the mood to go pick up them i'm just going to list all the supplements i take especially i want to suggest if you're not taking any of these i want to suggest these three chlorophyll probiotics and cranberry pills if you're a lady with that being said i hope you picked a point or two from this video let me know what other videos you would like to see in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye. I want you next to me.